welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short practical video i would like to guide you for calculation of steel for slab construction if you want to build your house and you don't know how much steel is required for rcc slab so watch this video till the end to know about steel reinforcement details and the total construction cost of rcc slab especially for steel reinforcement so let's get start guys as you can see guys this is a diagram for RCC slab. This is RCC slab. Which size is 14 feet by 22 feet. Width is 14 feet. Length is 22 feet. So, how much steel is required to cover this RCC slab? First of all, I will guide you for some important notes. Remember guys, the first one is when, when we place steel bars on width direction, on width direction, those bars are called when we placed on width direction width is 14 feet so when we place steel reinforcement on width direction guys you can see this is width so when we place the steel reinforcement on this direction so this is called distribution bars okay so this is the first one next when we place steel bars on length direction those bars are called what main bars main bars and distribution bars this is very important to know now when we place on as you can see here on length direction guys you can see the length is 24 feet and when we place on width direction that is called distribution bars when we place on length direction that is called main bars so let me find how many main bars are required okay so the first one is here numbers of main bars okay so for main bars we should take the length of guys you can see length divided by spacing so spacing mean the spacing between steel reinforcement okay so the spacing is here that is guys remember 6 inches center to center or 0.5 feet so therefore to find number of main bars on this direction so guys here length of slab divided by spacing plus 1 so length of the slab is here guys that is 22 feet Divide by spacing is 0 0.5 feet because this is 6 inches, guys, you can see. So, plus 1. So, how much we required? 44. So, when you do its calculation, so we required 45 numbers of bars are required for main bars. It means we required 45 main bars for this slave. Next, guys, to find numbers of distribution bars. So, width of the slab divided by spacing plus 1 where width is guys you can see 14 feet divided by 0 0.5 feet this is the spacing because this is 6 inches plus 1 so we require 29 numbers of rods which is distribution bars like this and the main bar should be placed first then we can provide the distribution bars on the top of this because main bar support the 
distribution bars on the top of that okay so now guys here we required 45 main bars 29 distribution bars okay so now let me find length of main bars so to find length of main bars remember guys we have total numbers 45 so 45 each bar length is guys you can see which is 14 feet when we are placing like this okay so multiply 14 so you will find the total length total length of steel reinforcement for main bars okay now to find distribution bars length same guys 29 numbers these are distribution bars multiply each length bar is 22 feet because we are placing on width wise and length is 22 feet so when you do its calculation you will get any length so now length of main bar plus length of distribution bars so we are using here the diameter of steel rod for main bars distribution bars which is 12 mm okay so therefore remember guys to find to find let me erase this okay now here let me find the quantity of steel okay quantity of steel so we are using the formula d square divided by 162 it will give you the weight in kg per meter remember guys this d square should be in millimeter as we have here 12 mm to find the unit weight of steel for 12 mm so put here 12 multiply 12 divided by 162 d square divided by 162 you will get the value 0.88 kg this is for 1 meter now what is the total length okay so here guys you can see let me do its calculation for you first or you can do by yourself okay 29 multiply 22 okay so you can do it uh, uh, you will get any value and plus this one so what is the total length for main bars distribution bars so you can uh, find the total length for this slab reinforcement so total length okay you can say total length of steel a uh, total total weight of steel sorry total weight of steel is equal 0.88 kg multiply the total length what is the total length so you will get the value from this distribution bar total length and main bar total length then you will put that value so you will require that kg so just i am guiding you by the method how you can calculate if the slab size is for example 60 feet by 28 feet if you have any size of the slab so you can use the same formula which i have discussed the front of you so by this formula guys you can find any kind of steel reinforcement unit weight if that is 16 mm 12 mm 25 mm 12 mm 10 mm etc so guys this is a short and practical video guided you for slab reinforcement details thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye